Hi there, I'm Tommy Larkin with Optimal Movement Fitness and Yoga. Today's tweak is a functional hip swing which challenges balance while building strength in the legs, glutes, shoulders, and core. All right, welcome back. I love today's exercise because it really targets a wide range of muscles in the legs and hips while providing functional mobility for the hips. It takes elements from the Romanian deadlift with balance and combines them with a variation of Utita Hasta, Padangustasana A, and Virabhadrasana 3. The two positions and the movement between them build strength in the glutes and core while helping us increase and maintain our overall balance quality. Furthermore, with the arm position I am illustrating today, the shoulders get a good workout too. Here are five keys to work in today's tweak. Key number one, find a point to focus on and keep looking at it. Changing your focal point will create adverse movement in the mind and make the body unstable. This will knock you off center and you will lose your balance. Key number two, keep as best you can the extending legs hip parallel to the floor. The lift of the leg when extending back is not achieved from lifting the hip, but from extending the front of the leg and hip. This is facilitated by contraction in the glute and hamstrings. Key number three, keep cow in the chest. The more the shoulder blades draw towards each other, the more extension the front of the body can achieve. This in turn will allow you to contract the muscles in the back effectively to aid in the lifting. The feeling of key number two and three is similar to doing Shalabhasana, locust pose, which I discussed in tweak number 16. Now key number four, when drawing back up to the starting position, use the extended leg to initiate the need for a contraction, but allow the core abdominal muscles to generate the overall movement. This will allow the hip flexors to not overwork and helps with maintaining better balance. And key number five. The arms have two positions in which they move. The initial standing position with the knee in the chest, the arms are externally rotated so the palms face upward. As you extend the leg behind you and fold forward, the arms rotate inwardly so the palms face down. As you come back to standing, the arms rotate externally again. So let's get to the movement. We'll do three reps on each side. So come to standing on your mat in Tadasana with the feet together. Now on the next inhale, open the arms out to the side like wings with the palms rotating to face the sky. Exhale. As you inhale, lift the right knee into the chest, engaging that foot vigorously. Exhale, stretch the leg out behind you, turning the palms to face the floor. Inhale, hug the knee back into the chest. Rotate the palms upward. Exhale, stretch the leg out behind you, palms down. Inhale, hug the right knee back in, palms up. Exhale, stretch the leg out behind you, palms rotate down. Inhale, hug the knee back into the chest, rotate the palms open. Exhale, release the right foot and the hands. Now inhale, let's do the other side, open the arms out to the side and lift the right knee into the chest. And on the next exhale, stretch the left leg out behind you, rotating the arms so the palms go down. Inhale, hug the left knee back into the chest, palms up. Exhale, stretch the leg out behind you, fold halfway forward, palms down. Inhale, hug the knee back in, palms up. Last time, exhale, stretch the leg out behind you. Inhale, hug the knee into the chest, open that heart, palms up. Exhale, release the arms and the foot fantastic and great job. Now if you are not used to doing Warrior 3 then the balance work needed in the transition can be a lot. So I recommend starting with three reps on each side and working up to five, eventually to ten. As a way to progress as the movements become easier you can add hand weights and arm variations. In addition, if you have a lot of balance issues or not enough strength in the legs, you can use the back of a chair next to the lifted leg side to help with the balance. Once again, we're at the end of another tweak of the week. If you have any questions about this one or any of the previous ones, let me know. Put your questions in the comments below and I'll get back to you. 
Plus, don't forget to check out the website and to follow us on social media for other ways to regain optimal vitality. You'll find those links in the description below. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. And until next time, have an amazing week and be excellent to each other.